Saturday night in the summer. Sundown and they all come out. Lamborghinis and they rented hummus. The party's on, so they're heading downtown. Everybody's looking for a come up. And they wanna know what you're about. Me in the middle with the one I love it. We're just trying to figure everything out. Hello, Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Wednesday, January 29th. I'm Michael Carter. And I'm Caleb Good, and here's what's going on at BHS. Young Life is having its first club meeting of the semester next Tuesday, February 4th at East Middle School, starting at 7.27 p.m. The theme is Jersey Olympics, so come ready to have the best night of your week. Don't forget to wear your favorite jersey. All are welcome. For more information, see Ms. Paul in A2416 or follow at BrownsburgYL on Instagram. Details on future events will be posted there. This week's student handbook topic is inappropriate language, comments, profanity, or gestures. No student shall use profane, vulgar, racially, or religiously derogatory, abusive, or otherwise disrespectful language in any school building areas during school hours or at any school-sponsored or related activities or events. The BHS History Club will be meeting next Wednesday, February 5th at 7.15 a.m. in Ms. Crone's room. They will be planning activities that include a field trip as well as sharing scholarship opportunities. Don't forget to fill out a nomination form for the Bulldog Teacher of the Month. Forms are available in all team offices. Teachers have really appreciated your nominations and comments so far this year. Filling out a form is not an excuse to be tardy to class, though. You will not receive a pass from the team office. Please pick up the forms and drop them back at a later time. Bulldogs for Life is hosting a baby item drive this week. You can bring in anything from diapers to baby bottles. All items can be taken to your team office and all the donations will go to the Gabriel Project an organization that helps mothers in need. Key club meetings will now be held at C1212B, which is the LGI room near the cafeteria and right next to door 6. They meet every Tuesday morning at 7.15. If you are interested in the Equality Alliance Club and wish to be in an inclusive environment where you discuss issues and challenges to the LGBTQ community, come to one of their meetings, which are held every Tuesday from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. in Mr. Lee's classroom, SA212, in the Senior Academy. Equality Alliance is an LGBT-friendly club that celebrates diversity. All are welcome. Some of us go into the new year with resolutions. Addison Bender decided to ask some students about theirs. New Year's means new resolutions. With it being the end of the first month, I caught up with some students to see what their New Year's resolutions are and how they plan to achieve them. What do New Year's resolutions mean to me? Um, they pretty much mean like it's a goal that you're trying to accomplish that is just something you want to start over in the new year. Um, it means like you need to like um, have a new way to start the new year. New Year's resolutions to me mean it's like it's just a chance for you to grow as a person and each year like be the better version of you. Uh, it's a time where you can stop doing something that you need to stop doing and it can build responsibility because if you're dedicated to it you'll stop it. What are some of my resolutions I have? Um, just to keep up with my grades and just being nice to everyone. Um, to make more friends and get better grades. Um, well, I'm not really accomplishing it very well, honestly. I've never been good at New Year's resolutions. Mm, I can start caring about stuff, put on priorities, and then I can try to get to school on time, but I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I'll usually stick to them for most of the year, but near the end of the year, I kind of just forget about them. Thanks, guys. I hope you stick to your New Year's resolutions. I know I'll try. Addison Bender, BHS TV. Thanks, Addie. Hey, what are some of your resolutions? Uh, I don't know. Probably some neck exercises. Oh, okay. You got anything? No. No. All right. Now it's time for sports. Hey, Allison, what do you have for us today? Hey, guys. We are gearing up for what should be an exciting weekend of BHS athletics. The boys' freshman basketball team was the only team in action so far this week for BHS. On Monday, they traveled to Lebanon to take on the Tigers and earned a 47-34 win. Robert Jackson led the team in scoring with 13 points on the night, and David Worlds had a season-high 9 points. Four other dogs had 4 points each in the game as well. The team is now 11-4 on the season. Let's take a look at the rest of this week's sports schedule. Tomorrow night, both the girls' and boys' JV basketball teams will host Zionsville in a doubleheader, and the freshman basketball team will travel to Burbuff. The boys' swimming and diving team will be at Decatur Central, and the JV wrestling team will head to Hamilton Southeastern for a dual meet. On Friday, the varsity girls' and boys' basketball teams will travel to Zionsville, where the girls will conclude their regular season. 
And on Saturday, the wrestling team will head to Avon for sectionals. All three boys basketball teams will travel to Terre Haute South, and the JV swimming and diving teams will host Avon and Plainfield. Good luck to all athletes in action coming up the rest of the week. The girls basketball IHSAA tournament draw was last weekend. Here's a look at the sectional 12 bracket. All games will be played at Plainfield High School. Avon will take on Terre Haute North in the first game next Tuesday, February 4th. The dogs will then take on Mooresville in the second game. The winners will advance to take on Plainfield and Terre Haute South on Friday, February 7th. Championship game will be next Saturday, February 8th, with the winner advancing to the Decatur Central Regional. That's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Allison. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, y'all, and we'll see you on Friday.